attached that um, that um, lo that Lost in Space episode. It's not the whole episode; it's just a short portion of it, and it's telling you why uh, men are superior to women. I mean, that's a fact. Like the UFC champion and woman, it's never been beat. She says she will never go up against a man, and that's smart because a man will take her down, even at her size. Even if, if even even if he isn't, you know, a smarter fighter. A man will take her down because of testosterone. And testosterone, you know, makes a big difference. And that's why the UFC um, female fighter will never fight a man because she don't, you know, she knows that. Men are superior. They're always, they're almost always, you know, bigger. You know, although there are women, they're bigger. Um, and then when Donald Trump's, you know, talking about Rosie O'Donnell, saying how fat and, you know, she was. I mean, he, he's just laying down the facts. I mean, that lady was fat. She was either uh, uh, Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> he's right. He's right about that. Shit, yeah, he's been right. Everything, everything Donald, Donald Trump has said so far to date has been right. He's not lying about nothing. He's not a lying president like like everybody else or a presidential candidate. Um, you know, everybody else will lie. Uh, Bill Clinton proved that he that's that was one of his charges on on uh, on this impeachment through the Senate. The Senate fully impeached Bill Clinton. But anyway, that was a full impeachment. Bill Clinton was impeached, and uh, just look it up. You don't have to take my word for it. Look it up. He was impeached by the Senate fully, and uh, but he never left the day of office it was because you got to be impeached like two times. One by the Senate and one by the normal law, I guess. I guess that's how a, a full, uh, no doubt about impeachment. And then you have to leave office. But um, the Senate fully impeached Bill Clinton for lying under oath and for misconduct. Some kind of, you know, the Lewinsky, I think it was, the Lewinsky case. And, uh, and then lying under oath about it under the highest court of land. Lying under oath. He's a liar. The Clintons are liars, and they're, and they're and they're drug dealers, and they're drug users. Why would you want a Clinton in there? It's only going to be for that sexual bullshit she's trying to pull off now. That oh, this is a uh, woman revolution or whatever it is. You know, another one. You know, we got a vote thing. But that's why I'm gonna attach that video to this. Um, that just that video clip, and he, he explains exactly why. Exactly why the male is superior to the female. It, it always will be. There's no doubt about that. Because the physical differences are too too great. I I was never afraid of any woman that was black belt in karate because I took I took karate for two years. Took Okinawan karate, um, Okinawan karate, Weichiru karate, or kung fu karate. Because whenever it's called kung fu karate, it's got animal movements, animal movements incorporated in, in people movements. So, you can call it either way, Okinawan Karate, um, Weichiru Karate, or Okin um, Okinawan Karate, or Weichiru Karate, or, or Kung Fu, because it has animal movements in it. Like our main block, our, our sole main block is a crane block, and that's where you bring up knee to your, like this. That's a crane block, or a power block. And what, what happens, the reason why you call it a crane block, because the bird, you know the crane, the bird, the crane, the big, big ass bird, he'll bring his wing down to his leg like this, and he'll block anything coming from that way from anim other animals. So that's an animal movement. That's why my, that's one of the reasons why my style is a kung fu style. It's kung fu. But anyway, uh, I'll attach that uh, Lost in Space video to this video, and it explains what I'm talking about. And, you know, the, the women's movement, to take it any farther than what it is now, would be silly. It'd be silly. It's a silly thing. And, and you know, if you're gay, you know, if you're female, female, gay, you know, I could understand it. You know, if everybody was female, female, gay, I could understand if you go farther than what the women's movement is now, where they can vote and do everything that men can do work and vote and 
all that, which before they weren't able to, I could understand if everybody was female, female, gay, but then we could never have offspring because female, female can't have offspring. You have to have a male in there somewhere. It just don't work that way. It's just like male, male. You can't have, you can't have offspring, male, male. So, you know, it's stupid. If you take this woman movement any farther than it is right now, it'd be stupid. It'd be stupid, you're stupid, and you don't know what you're doing, and you're fired, like Donald Trump says. But anyway, today is 8-11-2015, and I'm done with this video. I'm looking for a guy, I'm, I'm looking for a boyfriend, and if you like what you see, you know, I'm available. I'm just type down there in comments, and we'll get together. And you know what I say, same time, same channel. Same bad time, same bad channel. I love you. <laughs> See you then. Okay, this is Lost in Space, the episode, The Challenge. And then this ruler guy, that, this ruler of another planet, Quanto, who is uh, Kurt Russell, comes up and was talking to the people outside of the, uh, the spaceship on Lost in Space. Okay, Penny asks Quanto, that's Kurt Russell, he's like 12 or 13, it's a Kurt, he says, how long have you been here? And then Quanah goes, I do not speak to weak and worthless girls. Penny goes, you conceited, dirty-faced little boy. You're nothing but a bully and a half-pint boy. And then Quanah goes, lucky you are a female, or I would make you sorry for what you have said. And then Smith goes, then Smith goes, you hostile old ruffian, some Discipline applied to the seat of your trousers is exactly what you need. Okay. Then uh, the, ru the ruler comes, meets um, John Robinson, and they shake hands, and you know they, they squeeze, squeeze each other's hands real tight, try to you know prove something, I guess. Okay. The ruler um, the ruler says to John Robinson after they shake hands and prove their you know they can. Squeeze each other's hand. Um, the ruler says to John Robinson, I have met your son. He too has much in his favor. And Quantum goes, he steps out and says, But I can beat him. And, uh, and then uh, Marie Robinson says, What sort of a challenge? And then the ruler says, this does not concern you, woman, and it is a matter for men to decide. And then Marine goes, I don't know about your world, but in our world, the women are treated as the equals of men. And then the ruler starts laughing, going, <laughs> What a foolish arrangement. Marine says, I don't see anything foolish about it. Then the ruler goes, Woman, the equal of man? I mean, that's the question. In what way? That's another question. Are they stronger than men? Do they have more intelligence? Do they make laws and fight wars? <laughs> this would make an excellent story for me to tell when I return home. So when he returns... He returns to his home planet, make an excellent story for him to tell. Then Don says, I can hear the boys at the club <laughs> laughing already. And uh, then the ruler explains the nature of the, of the challenge and more in depth. And, and says, we use the challenges to determine who is the master and who is the slave. And then Marine, Marine goes, no, I won't permit it. And then the ruler your opinion is not required, to Marine. And then Marine says, I don't care. Will doesn't have to prove himself to anybody. And then John says, Marine. And then holds his hand down like that, says, you know, like stop. And then uh, Smith says, uh, It's fine for the winner, but it may be drastic for the loser. And then the ruler says, 
I am not interested in anyone's opinion other than Mr. Robinson's. It is he who will decide. And then John goes, well, the answer is no. And the ruler goes, you have good reason? Then John says, as my wife just said, Will doesn't have to prove himself to anyone. And that's, that's what I wanted to show on tape. And when I went to do it, and I taped it with my, this iPhone, because I tape everything with this iPhone. Five outside, mm, anything below seventy, I go. But that's uh, my talking thermometer. And today is today is eight, eleven, twenty fifteen. And uh, that's what I want to do. I, what I did is I taped the, that portion of uh, the challenge. That's lost. That's the lost in space episode. The challenge um, of the series episode. And I taped the two places on it that I wanted to show. And uh, you know, with Quano first, and then the Ruler talking with Quano and and um, Dr. Smith and Don saying, you know, and John. But um, I taped it, and I went to make it because I have to tape it sideways like this. So I on, on YouTube I made it so it's straight up like that, you know, uh, just to what do you call it, clockwise turn or counterclockwise. And and uh, then I got an email message saying that's uh, copyrighted. So. That loss of space is really picky on that, and there's two there's two people on the internet. Um, that's Prince, the singer, Prince, you know, uh, when doves cry, and and um, you know, I like I like a lot of his songs, and Little Red Corvette, and uh, Raspberry Bar Barrett, um, and many other ones of, of Prince. Prince is the next person that I like the most uh, after Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is the top. He's a superstar of all superstars. Michael Jackson was until he died. But then um, Prince was the next person. Well, Prince is one of them that um, you can get everybody else's uh, video and and, and uh, the video and uh, the song. You know, the song and video together. You can, you can get everybody else's, but don't you know? Prince Prince doesn't allow it. Prince doesn't allow it. He's the he's like one of the the only singer I know of. The only rock and roll singer I know of that don't allow you to um, to uh, put his songs on like your Facebook or you know other places, he doesn't allow that, and he doesn't uh, and uh, he doesn't have them on YouTube to to uh, do that with. So because I looked diligent, diligently and I didn't see any, you know, of Prince, and if I did see one, it's one of his crappier ones. But um, Prince and Lost in Space are the two, are the two um, entities or people that don't allow uh, full-blown episodes or their their music videos on YouTube. Don't they don't allow it? So that's probably why I got a thing saying that it's been blocked. You know when I when I, when I twist it when I twist it on YouTube, and I got a thing saying it's been blocked. So those two tapes that I made. Have been blocked and not accessible. So that's why I made this tape with, the, with, with what they said, and this this corresponds with uh, with Hillary and her and her woman's movement and how ridiculous that is. This is saying how ridiculous that is. It's called the challenge uh, episode of Lost in Space. And those those are their exact words. That's why I was kind of kind of was kind of abrupt going through it. Because I wanted to make sure it was the exact words. Because uh, even back in the 60s, and I think that was like 66, I think. 66, I think, is when he said that. When they had that episode, when they made that episode. It was 1966. And it, it explains, you know, why uh, women should not go any farther than what they are now. They shouldn't become, pro you know, because of, of what, that, what I just told you. You know, and it wasn't me. It was in the, in the episode. Those are the episode words, not mine. So I'm I'm gonna replace that. You know, the videos I was trying to make with this, and this should go through because it's not. You know, I'm just saying it, and it's not the actors. It's not the you know settings. It's not just me. 
so this should be alright. Um, but it explains that, um, what I'm trying to tell you, you know, um, and he explains, you know, the ruler explains how that is so ridiculous, you know, you know, they don't make the decision, you know, but, um, and they shouldn't make the decision. And if you, if, you, if you don't believe that part of it, you know, and this is just a TV show, you know, it's Lost in Space, 1966, you know, old time stuff, you know, if you believe that, and then just look at the Bible. The Bible says the man, the man is the head of household. Um, so, a woman's movement, a woman's movement that Hillary Clinton is talking about is going against, you know, everything about the, the America. It's going against everything about the United States. I mean, if they want their own country, you know, want their own place, you know, or, you know, let's say they want to stay in the United States and give them a state or a place where they can do their own thing. We just, you know, let them do their own thing. But as far as human humans go, it's the man who decides, like, like they say. I mean, it, it's, it's the natural, it's the thing it's supposed to be because testosterone is in the men, not in women, and so you want the femininity of the women, but, you know, they can't have it both ways. You can't have, you can't have being a, fe you know, a feminine woman and, and being a ruler or, or a president or, you know, the final say. You can't, it just doesn't go together. It's like trying to become female, you know, me as a male becoming female, it's just like that, except for uh, you have home, hormones, you know, female hormones introduced to, you know, if I was going to change to female, I'd have hormones, the, um, the um, estrogen, I'd have the estrogen treatment and a hormone block, male, a male hormone blocker, see, have a male hormone block I'd take once a day, and then estrogen treatments. That changes the body into female. So female and male are not the same. Like Maureen was saying, they're treated as the equal of men. See, that, that's not, you know, that's not totally correct, but, I mean, we do treat them, you know, almost exactly, but, but see, that, that's where the different, you know, that's where it should be severed. It should be severed at that point because you have the man, you know, the person, the, all, the, um, you know, the, the, um, the person that is supposed to be superior, the men who are supposed to be superior by nature alone because, um, like the UFC fighter, you know, the, the, the woman, the woman UFC fighter that hasn't even lost the ever match, she won't fight a man because even a man of her size and way less, way less ability will beat her because of the testosterone. It's different. They're not different. You know, if we were the same, we'd be the same, you know. And, you know, we'd all walk around with, you know, little, little wee-wees, wee and we'd be all the same. See, so it can't, it's, it's some kind of, some kind of uh, dream or some kind of misconception, misconception, that's a better word, in women's heads that, that you know, they can be superior or, they, you know, they can be at, at equal, which they can't. You know, they can't. It's impossible. Because you have to have one stronger than the other. Otherwise, you know, the femininity and, and uh, masculinity means nothing. Neither one means nothing. It involves just men, you know, dressed as women. <laughs> you know? Um, why even have that difference? Why? If a man wants to dress like a woman, then, you know, why, why not just... Let them. See, there's a big conflict there. If I go out on the street, you know, nice dress on, you know, look like myself, you know, without any makeup or anything, or, or any hairdo or anything, you know, I'd get I'd get ridiculed. I know that. Because, oh, look at him. He looks like, like, like a woman. He looks like, he's dressed like a woman. Ooh, ooh. But we're taught and brainwashed as a kid. You can't do that. See, that's the whole point. And that's silly to have a to have a, a woman's movement. It's silly. But anyway, um, that's why I made this video. I ended that last video, um, you know, about Hillary Clinton and the women's movement as being uh, silly. You know, saying silly. Now, 
I don't want to just end it there, okay? And I want to prove to you that that is silly, you know, as being uh, women, you know, being in charge like the president, um, and why that's silly, you know, and why the women's movement is silly any farther than what it is now. It should go no farther than what it is now. The simple fact that, you know, back in the 60s and 50s, and whenever we had a war, it was always it was always the men who went to war. The women stayed home. The, the men are the ones who went to war, you know, with a gun, with, with a tank, and with the different various weapons. It was always the men, always. Why? Because they are superior. They're superior. They're born superior to women, physically. They're physically superior. They're heavier. They're bigger. They're you know. They can get have more muscle mass. No matter how much a woman exercises, they can't have as much mass as, as a man does. A man will always be have more muscle mass and stronger than a woman. Always. You know. Uh, let's take Rosie O'Donnell for you know for Trump's example. R Rosie O'Donnell. I mean, she was big and fat, right? She can get big and fat, but as far as muscle goes, she can't. She couldn't trim, trim down and become more muscular than, say, Arnold Schwarzenegger or, or someone of her size in a man. Of her same size, a man, the man will always have more mass, more muscle, always. It's because of testosterone and the male, you know, it's the male is superior to woman. That's why we can never be equal. No matter what we do, we can never be equal. It's either you're male or you're female. Whether you change your sex or you don't change your sex, you know, if, you, if I go from male to female, then I'm automatically not as superior as a male. I'm more fragile. I mean, because my body will change with estrogen treatments and male hormone blockers. My body will change as a female, and I'll drop weight. I'll go from 150 pounds to maybe 110. That's just the, that's just the, the, uh, the nature of things. When a male change when a male changes the female, they, they drop in weight and and their structure changes, their face changes so it's more more pretty and more delicate. And their neck changes and everything changes. You you're changing from male to female when you when you do a, uh, when you go uh, transgender when you go transgender whether you do the surgery the, the last the last step the surgery of changing your penis to a vagina. And whether you do that or not, you're changing. Um, you're changing yourself into female, so you're more fragile. You're lighter. You can't. You can't uh, get the muscle mass of men. It, we're we're different. You, there's no way. There's no way that we can be equal ever. There's no way a woman and man can be equal. And um, my point is, is <clears throat> every war we've ever had, it's always been the men going in there, and and you know shooting, dying. So if, 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 let's say Hillary Clinton wants the woman's movement, okay, then I want that change. I want that change for only females, only females, not men. Let's, let's do a reversal here. Let's do a reversal. All, only, only, next time we go to war, like Vietnam or somewhere, or a scrimmage, like Vietnam, next time we go to war, I want all women, not men, just Men can't, let's, they, let's say, men can't be drafted, okay? I, I'd agree 100% with you. And then after the, all the women get killed, then let's send the real, the real people in there. After all our women are, are gone. You know? Then, then let's, let's do it like it's supposed to be, where, where we have the, the, dominant, the dominant person um, the superior, the superior person, the male, go to war, because we are superior. There's no doubt about that. And the women's movement, the women, you know, with Hillary Clinton, the women's movement is trying to say that's not true, and it is. It's true. It's a, it's a fact. You can't change that. All they want is all the rights and stuff and everything equal. You know, even though they're less, um, not as superior as the man. They're not. It's physically impossible. It's physically impossible as a woman to be superior to me. It's physically impossible. 
So, see, they can't change that natural, natural, na that's a nature, it's a nature, natural thing that they cannot change. Now, they can change it if they change her um, from going from female to male, now they can change it, but it's still not going to be the same as a born male. It's just like um, a born male can't ever have a kid. A female can never be um, at the level of a born male. They're still a little a little lower in, superi in superiority. In superiority, they're lower. They always will be lower. They, lower. They, they were born that way. They're female. Why do you think they're not all just male and males just don't bang other males in the butt and, and they get pregnant? Why do you think that is? It's because the male is superior and you have to have the female, you know, um, and you have to have the femininity, femininity, you know. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. The thing that I have a problem with is the, the woman's movement saying that they're equal when they can never be equal. They can't. It's impossible. Once a girl is born a girl, it is impossible for that girl to come to my level, at my size, my weight. It's impossible. But I can come down, I can come down to female by um, estrogen and uh, male hormone blocker. See, I can come down to male, or I can come down to female, but they can't come up to male and be a, a, a totally male. They can't. And I can't come to female and be a total female because I'll never be able to bear a child because I don't have those parts. I have to have those parts, and, I, and males, born males, don't have those parts. So we're we're equal in that respect, where we can't we can't switch like that and be exactly the same. We can't. No matter what the doctor does to you, you can't. It's impossible. But uh, that's my point. And I'm just stating fact, like like uh, Donald Trump always does. He always says fact, states fact, and he can back what he says. He doesn't just sit there and say, you know, this and that and can't back anything he says. Donald Trump can back everything he says, and he does. So, okay, that's what I wanted to add to that video because this, this clarifies that when I say it's silly, it is silly. And I'm, I'm, I'm just verifying it with this video and telling you why it is silly. But um, today is 8-11-2015. I'm done.